Welcome back everyone. Now that I got the food out of my mouth, we can continue on with our <laughs> interviews today. Uh, we have these guys to credit for our uh, little segment, Eat the FM area that we have been doing here for uh, the past couple of weeks now. We have Brian and Jojo with us uh, in studio today and it's, they're actually talking about a special project they have aimed at giving back to the community. So can one of you tell us about the Feed the FM area kids challenge? Um, yeah, so it's kind of, um, kind of a thing where I found out that a lot of kids don't get to eat at school. Um, it's kind of what was heartbreaking for me because um, it's like that's one thing the kids should not have to worry about is going to school and having to eat. Um, so I was on Facebook one day and somebody did a post where they were talking about, you know, people go to Starbucks all the time, send six, seven, eight bucks on a coffee, right? Mm -hmm. And then they'll pay it forward and then buy the guy in the Mercedes in the back, <laughs> buy him a coffee also too. And I'm not knocking anybody for having money, but it's like, what if we did that, but we did it for the school system? And so instead of buying the coffee for the person behind you, how about we take that 10 bucks? How about you send it to the school system and pay for some kids lunch, right? Mm -hmm. So if, if enough of us do that, we can feed the African American kids where no one has to go hungry. And so it's kind of a mission of mine right now to get people out there to, instead of paying it forward that way, call up the school system. We're gonna put a program together as well, but call the school system and say, hey, I'd like to give them 10, 20 bucks and put that on some kids' meal for the holidays and make that a gift so no kid has to go hungry. So kind of a mission that I'm on this 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 season, I guess. That That's amazing. and I. It's so true too, like, you know, the person with the Mercedes behind it. Yeah, I think they can afford their own coffee, but right. you know, and I understand it's the gesture. Everyone it, it wants is. to do the nice gesture, but yeah. I think the other great thing is the cup of coffee, five bucks, one 12 ounce coffee. Yeah. School lunches, that can get you a couple. A couple right. of them, right, 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 right. You know, and um. so I think that's <laughs> awesome too. So um, what kind of difference are you hoping that this will make across the community? No kid goes hungry, man. Um, that, you know, this kid can wake up tomorrow, go to school and not have to worry about eating. Right. Um, if I can make that difference, that would be huge. But I'd like to get more people in the community, not just for this season throughout the year. I mean, no, don't just do it for the holidays. Do it all year long. You know, take 10, 20, 50 bucks here and there and just put it on some kids lunch. So some kid does not have to work. So if I can make that impact, that would be huge, man. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my mission. Um, hope we can make it happen. So uh -huh. and where can people go if they want to make it happen? Um, so right now, just you know, follow us on you know Instagram, follow us on Facebook, eat the FM area. Um, right now, I'm waiting on a phone call back from a lady who's running this program for the school system. And so once I get information from her, and if anybody out there knows anybody that's in the school system that can help us with this, please reach out to us. We'd love to figure out who do we get this money to. Um, but for right now, just keep following us. And once we get a little bit more, we'll start putting it out there on Facebook. So awesome. Yeah. Okay. And so that's all part of uh, your eat the FM area kind of campaign you have going on so uh, Jojo what is uh, your your goal with that um, same thing what he said too you know it's not necessarily about the kid being you know obviously it's being hungry but nobody wants to feel like they don't fit in if everybody else is eating around them and they got nothing it's uh everybody wants to feel comfortable where they're at in their in their environment mm -hmm. yeah no one wants to feel excluded with right it. absolutely uh, especially with something simple like that you know so it's um it should be a simple solution, I think, anyway. <laughs> you would think so, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you, with everything that America has, you think Absol it should be absolutely. super simple. Yeah, this, should, right. this should be light work, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think so. Okay, well, that's awesome. Yeah, you're so right on that. Um, and so, but to your general um, uh, uh, idea that you have, Eat the FM area, what was, uh, what's the goal of that? You know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you, we, we talk about every week when we're trying to fill the spot. You know, what is what is the end goal here? What is, yeah, what is uh, the end goal? We don't really know. So far, it's um it's a fun hobby, but at the end of the day, it's um we, we would like to see it blow up, keep keep going. I mean, we've got um uh, I think the next three or four Fridays are already booked up yeah. for who we have lined up, and I mean, there's we definitely got a wait list of of people to get on. Yeah. Um, so if we can keep it a solid thing, or maybe even long term, you know, drive around and pull up on the restaurant and try the food, that'd be cool too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the goal. We're, we've, <coughs> talk, we've talked to the studio about doing the Guy Fury thing, mm -hmm. where me and JoJo pull up to diff different restaurants and different places like that, have some mm -hmm. food, talk to the cooks, look at the back area, do yeah. some things like that. So we can get an Eat the FM area Guy Fury situation going on. That'd be kind of cool for us. And we yeah. both love to eat. We both love supporting you know, all the restaurants, mm -hmm. food trucks, all the, eat all the eateries here in town. We love supporting them. So we can just keep doing that. I mean, it's, it's for us, I think it's just us doing good, helping the community out supporting local businesses. Yeah, I think that's the best uh, and giving back to the community in its own way. And then also with this challenge of uh, giving back to the kids as well. Well, thank you two so much for coming on today. Yeah. Absolutely, appreciate yeah. you having us. Yeah, happy yeah. holidays, man. Yes. Yeah, happy Absolutely. holidays. Absolutely. <laughs> coming up here on today's show, we uh, have some of uh, Santa's favorite animals. They're down at the Red River Zoo and we'll tell you how you can take them all in with Christmas cheer.